Hi guys, I'm here today to talk about uh, a film that's come out this year, obviously 2010, it came out a few months ago. It's called Malice in Wonderland, not to be confused with Alice in Wonderland. As we were just saying, we are talking about Malice in Wonderland that was released this year, 2010. And like we said just a second ago, it's not to be confused with Alice in Wonderland. Oh no. But there is a bit of a confusion about this film. Uh, that there's people who watched it and thought, mm, this is a thingy. Now, I watched it and it's starring Danny, you know, like one of the stars in it is Danny Dyer. Now, I, it, it, he's from the UK and I've got to say, great acting skills he's got and he's been in quite a few films, that are obviously UK based film. Absolutely brilliant actor, you can't fault him. But I watched this uh, Malice in Wonderland. Now, if this would have been based like the new Alice in Wonderland, then it would have been miles better. Now, the way they did this is obviously, they did it in like in, in a proper 20th century, you know, going out in the city streets, you know, going in towns, you know, going to a fairground, you know, stuff that you recognize in day to day life. Now, I know uh, some of you like, uh, like love the, the new uh, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, I can understand why he did, but like I said in the, in the last review, which is obviously right here, right now, it, we're talking about, obviously, it, it just it was confusing for kids to understand. And I know, you know, it's, it's meant to be like that, but it could have done a lot more. But if they would have done it like Alice in Wonderland, which we're talking about here now, that would have been a must-see. It, you know, it would most definitely have got me to go in to watch it again or even eventually when it comes out on DVD to buy it on DVD I would have definitely gone in because this film grasped me now I'm not saying it was fantastic now this week on a, a particular website which I'm going to post there it's down it's, it's down 36% this week but down 36% you know from, from ratings but look at the reviews on Alice in Wonderland they're down 52% now that, that just says it all for me, so, and, and this wasn't, uh, you know, this went public side, there wasn't no red carpet about Malice one on. Now, I've got to say, you know when they say films are meant to be confusing, you know, this, this uh, Alice in Wonderland and stuff like that is meant to be confusing? You're probably like, uh, it's just sort of something on my uh, computer, uh, on my laptop rather. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know what you say, it's supposed to be confusing. Now, here's what's confusing for me, personally, about Malice in Wonderland. The film is called Malice in Wonderland, as you can see spelled at the bottom, and if you look in the description, it's spelled there. Is it there? No, I don't know. I know the description box no longer at the sides, or that side, what it used to be, one of them. <laughs> I don't know, but it's now down there. But anyway, the actors in it, obviously there's a, obviously there's Whitey, he's in it, which is played by Danny Day, and there's a, a, an actor called Alice. She's played Alice. Obviously the, the actor's name, let me just think, because obviously, like, like I said, the laptop's here. It's Maggie, Maggie Grace, who plays Alice. Now, why is the film called Malice in one one? Hmm, maybe you gotta go and watch it and find out why it's called Malice, even when the main the character name is called Alice. Now, like I said, this has been brought smack bang in the 20th century. It's there, it's got the thing. If you've not watched it, go and watch it. I would say it's, you know, it's, you know, it's a, definitely a must-see. I won't say an extreme must-see, but it is a good film. And if you've not seen any other, um, obviously, Danny Dyer films, I would highly recommend you go out and watch some of Danny Dyer, uh, Danny Dyer films. And now, there's some old films I'm going to review in straight after this video. I'm going to be able to say editing this, putting it through and everything, and then eventually upload it. And, and there's a film I'm going to be talking about, which is called Dead Man Running. Now, um, I think... I think that came out that came out this year as well. I'm gonna talk about that Dead Man Run. That's obviously starring Danny Day as well. And another good actor who was starring in his football the first film that he, well not one of the first films, one of thing which was a massive hit, which is called Football Factory. Now that film was fantastic for me. If you've not seen it, go and watch it. And there's also an, new up and coming films that I'm gonna be talking about as well, which is obviously if you've not seen this, this is a Definitely, this is a quick heads up. I'm going to make a review of it. These have been out for a couple of years, maybe a year or so. Um, and it's called Green Street Hooligans. If you've not watched it, 
if you're into this sort of stuff, I like I said, we're good reviewing. Now these are fantastic, you know, films to watch. Now they are based in the UK and the you know thing and these like like hooligans and stuff like. That. If you, you know before we do the, the review, why don't you go and obviously search it through Wikipedia or you know on all the other sites and everything? But definitely go and watch these films, and I will definitely be reviewing them. And I'll be posting it. I'll probably post a link. Obviously, I'm not going to put any picture annotations. I'm just going to put some links here what, for, as soon as they're done. So if there's nothing, if I'm pointing here now and there's not there, that's uh, simple because I've not done them yet. But as soon as the as soon as it thing, you can come back to this if you want or you, if, if you are subscribed, then you're going to find them. So obviously, if you're not already subscribed, you want to find out more about these videos. Please, please, please subscribe to me now. Become a friend. I know a lot of people say they don't see the point of being friends on um, YouTube and stuff like that. I can see where they're coming from, but you can. Man. I don't mind. I'll accept anybody. But, uh, you know, just so you know, if you aren't here now today and you're trying to comment below and it's a bad comment or anything like that, please, uh, please know that uh, all my um, comment things have got to be approved by me first. So I'm going to read them first check them and then I'm going to approve them and obviously if, you, if you're going to start uh, obviously calling the videos or slagging them off or swearing you know and calling and saying you fat you should be dead <laughs> yeah probably should but I'm not I'm, a, I'm here you know so uh, obviously you, you, you're going to be wasting your time if you're going to be comments because there's only you <laughs> who's going to be viewing it and me and I'm just going to delete it as soon as I see it so it's simple as that and you're not going to get a reply you're not going to get no reaction but anyway that's uh, nothing to do with the reviews I don't know why I think that thing but like I said we are here for today talking about Malice in Wonderland go and watch it see what you think comment below let me know exactly what you thought of it use the thumbs up thumbs down feature if you like the film and if you didn't like the film use the thumbs down anyway until next time guys that's me talking about Malice in Wonderland and a couple of other heads up of what I'm going to be doing as well uh, you know, late reviews. Anyway, see you later, guys, and goodbye. I've done it again. Wrong fucking way.